Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over angle bisector. An angle bisector divides an angle into two congruent angles, which means it divides it in half, and both halves are equal. So when we have an angle bisector, it divides the angle measure in half. Here's our first example. OB, which is this segment here, bisects AOC, which is the large angle. So that means we have two congruent angles. This angle, AOB, is equal to BOC. It says the measure of angle AOB is 102. So 102 degrees is that angle measure. Since OB is a bisector, this BOC is also 102, 102 degrees. So both these angle measures are 102 degrees. Now let's answer what the question asks. It asks for the measure of angle BOC. BOC we already found was 102 since those were two equal parts. The measure of angle AOC, AOC, which is the entire angle, is going to be these two added together. So 102 plus 102 is 204 degrees. Here's our next example. OB bisects AOC. So again, we have these two equal angle measures here. The measure of angle AOC is 56, so the entire thing is 56. If the entire thing is 56, I want to cut that in half to figure out these two measures. So BOC would be 28. AOB would also be 28 because they have to add together to equal 56, and they're equal parts. So 28 plus 28 is 56. Then it says the measure of BOC is 2X. So BOC is 2X, and we want to find X. Well, BOC is 2X. I also know BOC is 28. So 2X is equal to 28. Solve for X by dividing both sides by 2 and x is equal to 14. Here's our last example. OB bisects AOC. So again, it's splitting this AOC into two equal parts. The measure of angle AOB is 5x minus 7. So this right here is 5x minus 7. The measure of angle BOC, which is here, is 3x plus 1. Remember, when we have an angle bisector, it cuts this angle in half, which means these two angles are equal. So we're going to solve for x by setting these two angle measures equal. Now we just need to solve. So I'm going to get all the x's to one side. So I'll move these x's over here by subtracting 3x. This becomes 2x minus 7 equals v0 out, so we get 1. Add 7 to both sides, we get 2x equals 8. Divide both sides by 2, and so we get x equals 4. I'll write the answer over here. x equals 4. It also wants me to find the measure, this should say, the measure of angle AOC. AOC is the entire angle. So if x is 4, all I need to do is figure out one of these sides and then multiply it by 2. So if I plug x or 4 into this x here, 3x plus 1, that's really 3 times 4, and I'll write it out. 3 times 4 plus 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So if half of it is 13, the whole thing is 
26. Just multiply that by 2. So those are our two answers there. Thank you for watching, and for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.